You're going to want to make sure to log into your Beatport account by going to Preferences, Streaming, and Log In using your login credentials. And once you do that, in the tree, you're going to notice that either the Beatport or Beat Source icon shows up. Let's just kind of have a tour of how these playlists work and how everything works with Beatport and Tractor. So if I click on the search playlist, I can actually search Beatport's entire library. And it behaves just like Tractor's search, except it's searching the entire Beatport library. So first I'm going to choose what I want to search for by clicking this drop down menu. I'm going to choose label. And let's choose compact records. So I'm just going to type in compact. And now you can see that the search results are updating. They're going to keep updating until we get all the results. So now it's loading everything from compact records. Uh, and if I want to, I can sort that by whatever I want. I like to sort by release date. So I can actually go and see what the first song on compact records is, and I can play it. Or I can play, I mean, we're up to over 900 songs now. I can play compact records tracks for days. So if I click on a song and load it into a deck, what it's doing is it's downloading the song into the deck. And once it's downloaded, it's there, it'll play, it won't skip, right? And then I can play it. And now if I want to download this song for offline use, let's say I'm DJing in the jungle in Brazil with no internet, how am I going to play these Beatport link tracks? I can actually save them to my offline locker. And I can do that by right or control clicking on the song. And I can say add to offline locker. And then if I go to my offline locker here, I can see all the songs that I've downloaded. And I can play those without having an internet connection. Now let's have a look at these folders down here in the Beatport streaming node. First we have the curated playlists. These are playlists that are curated by the Beatport staff. So if I go to any of these genres, let's say drum and bass, you can see some playlists that the Beatport staff have made. Underneath that, we have genres. And this is the whole ocean of everything that's been released in that genre that's on Beatport. And same thing, we can sort by release dates, so the newest stuff's at the top. And you can really have some fun digging through and finding songs that other DJs might not have. Under that, we have my playlists. And these are playlists that I've created so you can create Beatport link playlists on the Beatport website just by clicking on the drop down arrow next to a song and choosing add to playlist. One of my secret weapons for making Beatport link playlists is called Sound Is. And that will allow you tra to transfer music between streaming services. So I could take my Spotify playlist or my Tidal playlist and convert that to Beatport link. Underneath that you have the top 100 so you can browse the top 100 songs on Beatport in any genre at that current time.